Hello, Dr. Marty Mohos, colleagues from Kurtu Selasti Institute, and ladies and gentlemen, good day. My name is Ho Dong Yang. I am from Taiwan, and I am the professor of economics from Fengjia University, which is located in Taichung, the second largest city in Taiwan. It is my great honor and pleasure to have the opportunity to celebrate with you for the 20th anniversary of Kutu Selasti Institute. Huinan and Taiwan are two small countries far away from each other with a long distance of 5,000 miles. I think it is quite amazing to have a connection between these two countries. In this video, I would like to share two experiences. First is about how I get to know Dr. Muhos and the research collaboration we have had since then. Second is the experience of living in Oulu from August to November in 2019. First, let me talk about my acquaintance with Dr. Muhos. In 2011, while I served as a guest editor for a special issue for the International Journal of Economics and Business Research, the theme of the special issue is about entrepreneurship in emerging economies. Dr. Muhos responded to this call for papers. Then in 2012, we met in a conference at Salzburg, Austria. And he presented the paper, which is about the comparative study of early growth stage of microenterprises between Finland and Thailand. The special issue was published in 2014, and then came out our second collaboration when I co-edited a book with a Hong Kong scholar, Tony Yu, the title of the book is called Handbook of East Asian Entrepreneurship, and Dr. Muhos, with his co-authors, contributed one chapter in this book with a case of comparative study of micro-enterprises micro between Finland and Taiwan. In 2019, while I took my sabbatical leave, I was working on another book project, Handbook of Asian Family Business. I'm delighted that Dr. Muhos immediately formed a team to join this project, although I informed him this project rather late. I have heard many good things about Nordic countries before, but it was until I immersed myself in Oulu that I started to get to realize the so-called Nordic spirit. Now, let me talk about my experience in Oulu. While I arrived at Oulu a few days later, Dr. Muhos handed me a book written by David Kirby. You probably read the book already. It was very fascinating to read the story of Finland, which I have to admit that I paid little attention before. In the book, Dr. Kirby mentioned three special features of Finland which are resilience, endurance, and hard working. In my view, this description is mostly true, although I take hard working with a pinch of salt. I would say Taiwanese people probably work harder, but Finnish people know how to work smartly. The book also demonstrated the pathway of Finland's fighting for independence and how to deal with the superpower living next door. I think it is very inspirational for Taiwan, given the subtle relationship between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait now. I had quite a fantastic experience living in Oulu for three months. Under the thoughtful arrangement of Dr. Muhos, I went to a conference in Turku. I visited Nivala two times and got a chance to visit Champion factories in Nivala Industrial Park met a city mayor, saw the demonstration from different divisions of Curtis Celeste Institute, etc., and etc. Out of the office, I very much enjoy biking around the city. 
I remember very well of jogging on different trails, watching hockey game, net fishing, wild mushroom picking, and rock climbing with colleagues from Curtis Salasti Institute. Before I went back to Taiwan in October, Dr. Muhos took me to a trip to visit the plant with his family. We visit towns and national parks around the area, such as Heta, and even to Alta in Norway. It was quite a sensational trip. Although I did not see Northern Light, it would be a good excuse to go back again. Finally, let me talk about possible research collaborations. I see there are many areas could be collaborated between Finland and Taiwan. First of all, I would like to thank Oulu University colleagues from Kurtu Celeste Institute and Dr. Muho's kind hospitality during my visit in Oulu. And it was the time I was working on the handbook of Asian family business. The book is scheduled to be published by the end of 2020. Dr. Muhos and his co-authors contributed one chapter as well, which is a competitive study of successors engagement in family business between Finland and Thailand. I also much appreciate that uh, colleagues from Kurtu Salasti Institute have reviewed some chapters of this handbook. Second, Finland and Taiwan both rank high in the Global Entrepreneurship Index. While I was in Oulu, we have already talked about the possible project of the comparative study of entrepreneurship ecosystem between Finland and Taiwan. I hope we can make it happen. Third, many comparative study of family business can be the topics between Finland and Taiwan. For instance, I found that Finland has a long history of yacht production. It would be a good topic since Taiwan is the number one yacht producer in Asia. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Thank you for your attention. Once again, happy 20th anniversary for Kurtu Salasti Institute. I'm sure that the pandemic of COVID-19 will be over and I look forward to seeing you either in Taiwan or in Finland soon. Bye-bye.